Hi everyone, Yasas Kekalo Sirsate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Are you ready for an impressive salmon dish that'll be on the table in like 30 minutes? This is it. I'm going to teach you how to make my sheep pan salmon that's going to be dressed with a lemon and dill vinaigrette that's full of flavor. We're going to have some veggies on the side. All you need to do is make some couscous or rice or maybe toast some bread and you'll have dinner on the table in no time that the whole family is going to love. Let's get started. Okay, so over here I have about two and a half pounds of salmon fillets. I'm using a wild sockeye salmon. Honestly, I wish there was more fat in it so it could be juicier, but this lemon and everything that's going to go in it is really going to help with that. Please tell me why or oh why this farm-raised salmon, which is so bad for you. Why does it taste so good? I just don't know. I don't want to know either, so don't let me know in the comments. But anyway, I'm using two fillets of sockeye salmon. You could do one. Then I have one bell pepper here. You could use any bell pepper, green, yellow, orange, red, whatever you have on hand. Go ahead and just slice it into fairly thick slices. I mean, there's, no, there's not a science behind this. Make it around this size so that way they all cook evenly. I also have a red onion that I'm just going to go ahead and cut in half and then slice that up. And then I always have grape tomatoes in my fridge, so that's why I'm using these veggies. But if there's something in here that you like that you want to add, you can. You could even throw in some kalamata olives in this. I just push the fish to one side of the tray, put the veggies in there, and then drizzle them with some olive oil, seasoned with some salt and pepper, and toss them all together. And you can do it e either this way like I did or you can just put the vegetables on both sides of the tray if that's your aesthetic. <laughs> now we're going to make the delicious dressing for the fish. Okay, so in my little pitcher here, I have three garlic cloves that I just grated. I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup or more, I always do more, of really good quality Greek extra virgin cold pressed olive oil. We have this in our shop if you'd like to buy some. It comes from the island of Crete, which is where my family's from. Then, totally optional, but I like to add a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. It really balances out the flavors. And a quarter of a cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And there might be a tiny bit more because I love it very lemony. And a teaspoon of dried dill, tiny bit more. You can use fresh dill for this. I don't have fresh dill. Fresh dill definitely has more flavor. But believe it or not, dried dill does retain a lot of that delicious flavor that dill has. So you can definitely use dry dill in this. And you could even add a little bit more if you like. Whisk that all up. And that's it. The marinade couldn't be simpler than this. Now, before I add the marinade, I'm going to season the fish with salt and pepper. You could do black pepper or crushed red pepper flakes, whatever you like. It already looks so beautiful with all those beautiful colors. And then just pour the dressing on top of the fish. Lift the fish up a little bit so it can go underneath it as well. And then go ahead and thinly slice some lemon rounds and you can lay them on top of your fish. It's just going to make it look really pretty. And that's it. It's ready for the oven. So just preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to bake the pan on the center rack for about 18 minutes. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it to the top rack and I'm going to turn the broiler element on just so that way the, the veggies can get more color, the tomatoes can blister and start to break a little bit. It's going to help with the sauce and the fish is also going to get more color and the lemon wedges are going to be a little bit roasted and beautiful. You're going to broil it keeping a close eye on it because every oven is different for about four minutes or so. Once you see beautiful color everywhere, take it out, let it sit for about 10 minutes and then it'll be ready to serve. You'll see that there's a beautiful sauce on the bottom, a brothy light sauce that's going to help keep this fish nice and moist and that's going to come from the veggies and also some from the fish as well. Like I said before, you can serve this with some couscous, some cauliflower rice, some Mediterranean rice pilaf, or you can simply make a salad and toast some bread and this dish is just ready to eat. Let's do the taste test. So you'll see that the fish flakes e easily and be careful because sometimes there are bones in fresh fish. Just keep that in mind and pick them out if you can find them. I'm going to take a little bit of the salmon, a little bell pepper. Oh my goodness. So good. It's not dry at all. We've all had super dry salmon. This is definitely not it. This is juicy and flavorful from all the lemon and that little hint of Dijon mustard. Delicious. If you guys want to print this recipe out, head on over to the website, DimitrisDishes.com. Make it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And I'll see you back here with another delicious recipe worth sharing. Yes, us.